Hello everyone, this is Bui from Mama Bui's Kitchen. I hope everybody have a great day. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to make ground beef for pie. And we're going to start off by making our delicious pie crust. And let's get started. Here I have 5 cups of whole purpose flour, 6 tablespoons of ice water, half a teaspoon of salt, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 cup shortening, and lastly, 1 cup cold butter. Step 1. Combine all the dry ingredients which are flour, salt, and sugar. Step 2. Now add your cold butter and shortening. For this recipe guys, I have used combination of fats, uh, which is half butter for rich flavor, half shortening for satisfying flakiness. So there are so many ways you can use to combine all the ingredients. Today I'm going to use my hands, but you can either use a fork or you can use a pastry cutter. I trust my hands guys and make sure your hands are clean i'm gonna work the butter into the flour and i think i have to stop here i like leaving like you see how my my mixture looks it's so crumbly a pea-sized piece of butter you can see that's how i like my crust to be like it's gonna bring that flakiness texture to the pie crust. Step two, I'm gonna add my liquid. I'm gonna add about six tablespoons of ice cold water. Make sure guys, you add the amount that is specified on the recipe. Next, I'm gonna kinda bring the dough together, not kneading guys, just try to bring it together. This is how our dough should look. It should be crumbly. I'll transfer it onto a parchment paper so it's gonna be easy for me to bring it together to form a ball so that I, it can be easy for me to portion it. Next, we're gonna divide dough into six portions. We're gonna take each portion, flatten it, and form a round disc shape. Make sure guys, you don't overwork the dough, otherwise you're gonna end up with a tough pie crust. See how easy it is? Just like so guys. Next, we're gonna take our dough and wrap it in the plastic wrap and pop it in the refrigerator for one hour. The reason why we put our dough in the refrigerator, we need the, our dough to absorb the liquids. When you put dough in the cold refrigerator, the flour absorbs the liquids and the dough will relax and become easy to work with it. Next, we're gonna work on our filling. And for our filling, here are the ingredients. We got one pound of ground beef, 80-20, beef stock, black pepper, beef bouillon, fresh rosemary, one egg, onion, celery, garlic, paprika, salt, olive oil, and carrots. So let's get started. First, we're gonna let our pan 
get hot on the stove. In my pan, I have about one tablespoon of olive oil. Then I'm gonna add my ground beef and cut it into small chunks. Just like so. The ground beef is cooking and I'll keep stirring and turn it over. Next, I'm gonna add garlic. I love garlic, guys. Guys, it smells so good. It smells so good in here. You know, garlic has this aroma. You know, I just love garlic. The aroma of the garlic, guys. I'll keep stirring. Then I will add my onion. In goes celery. Carrots, rosemary, beef bouillon, and some salt. Then I'll stir everything together. I like leaving my vegetables tender because guys, we're gonna, remember, we're gonna bake this so we don't have to overcook them. I don't want a mushy uh, beef pot pie. Now, I'm going to add my black pepper. Paprika. And mix. I'll keep stirring. Okay, now our ground beef and vegetable looks good. Now, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna take about a tablespoon of cornstarch and add it to our beef stock. We're gonna mix together. We are making a slurry, guys. Then we're gonna add the mixture of cornstarch and beef stock to the ground beef mixture and stir everything together. This really looks good guys. Yes, it does. It does. This is how it should look, guys. I think we are done here. Next, we're going to fill our ramekins with the ground beef mixture. Okay, now our ramekins are filled with the filling. Now it's time for us to roll out our pie dough. Okay, now that my dough is rolled out, I'm gonna take a pie dough cutter and cut it to the size of the ramekin. Uh, I'm gonna cut, take one ball. Put on top and kind of take it. Take on the side. Okay, 
Next, we're gonna egg wash our pies. Now, I'm going to take my patty knife and cut holes so that the steam can go out. I don't want liquid to explode and my pie get messy. I'm going to bake these pies at 425 Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. There you have it guys, ground beef pot pies. They look delicious guys. Try this recipe. Let me know how it turned out on the comments down below. Hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Like, share and subscribe. Until next time guys. Bye. Honey for my honey. Bye my honeys.